good okay so till now so far so good now let's deploy let's create this table in the physical database in our sqlite database which is a file system database so you see right now there's no file related to sqlite it doesn't have our database created at the moment so i'm going to now deploy so cds deploy you don't need to compile guys the compilation was just you know behind the scenes so when you do deploy it's going to take the cds file inside the db folder it's going to do compile behind the scene all the tables it's going to generate the tables inside the database so cds deploy to sqlite colon you can give a name also to your file up to you so let me give nikhil because today nikhil was the fastest in answering all my questions including when i ask questions all right so we will create a sqlite database done congratulations you can see nikhil is created here so this is your actual physical database in which the order table got created with the name com underscore anubo underscore finance underscore transaction underscore order that's the name of the actual table which gets created are you not believe me you not believe me all right let me go and show you this table now to see this table to see this database you need to install a tool called sql tool yes so search for sql tool yes and install this sql tools to your to your sql uh, to your vs code environment yeah so first thing you need to go and install the sql tool sql tool this tool will allow us to add databases inside our vs code environment to experience and work with databases directly as a tool so this is a first step install this sql tool remember this yellow color cylinder there are so many duplicate ones go with this one yeah that's a first step after you do that you need to also install sqlite driver what is sqlite driver sqlite driver you see sql tools sqlite this also you need to install why it is needed it's a driver which help the sql tool to connect it to our sqlite database yes so these are the two plugins two extensions you need to install in the vs code environment yeah that's a four step before you begin connecting your table before you actually see your table actually see something that's a four step next step is you can go here to dot 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 and you see sql tool here open that and now we add a new connection so guys do not forget to install sql tool sqlite and sql tool two things which are important and now we say add a new connection we choose sqlite connection name i can say anubhav cap anything you can name file what's your database file where it is it's in my same folder you see it's with the name nikhil so i'm going to say select file and i will choose nikhil click open yes how show how many default record limit 50 that's good save connection you can test connection before saving you see connection is successful let's save congratulations guys you have successfully connected your database with this sql tool i say connect now and now we are connected so let's run a query so first i want to run a query to see all the tables so there is a table called tables which you can run to find all the table names so i say select star from dot tables this will run a query on the sqlite database to show us all the list of tables oops why it's not doing okay we can just see dot tables i think no it's not anyway we can directly run query on our database table actually so what's our database table name let's come back as i mentioned already before the table name will be comma new fin trans order so i can go back to connection select star from and you see it's already showing code completion wow look at that it's showing the code completion in sql tool to select data from table how many records do we have in our table anybody anyone in the room how many records do we have zero let's run run the query and you see it doesn't have anything empty 
So now I want to insert data. So I say insert into table name values and I want to insert one order number. Yes. Customer name SAP. Yes. What else? What else? What all the data? So customer name location total currency created on created by. Yes. So location is India. Total amount is let's say 125.20. Currency is Euro. Created by and created on. So first is created on, then is created by. So let's put the date. So I'll put here 2023-107 and created by Anupa. Let's run. It got executed. Yes. I will put this command also in the everything, all the commands I'm going to put here, guys. So later on, you guys can can test everything. Yeah. So we did CDS deploy also. These are the commands I've used by far. And now let me do this select query again. And I just run and we have a record, but it's null. Something went wrong actually during insertion. So it has got null actually. Yeah. So now I've got a null. Yes. But at least, uh, okay. I think we have to do start. I'm sorry. I did a mistake. Ah, yes, we have record. You see, one SAP India. And you see, it has got the record inserted in our table. Superb guys, superb. So this is how you can work with a simple local database. Build your project completely locally without any third party dependency. Completely local. Yes, as a developer, this gives me comfort to build the complete project locally. Later point of time, we can take this project to BTP or PES and run it with BTP with the HANA database.